So you have implemented Google Analytics for event tracking on your website, but when you check the reports, those events are not there. Why is that? There are many possible reasons, and in this video, I will show you them. Also, if none of these tips help, then take a look below the video. You will find more information there. The first reason is that maybe you did not wait long enough because Google Analytics 4 requires between 24 or 48 hours to process the data, at least in most cases. That's what they say in their documentation as well. So if you have sent, let's say, an event several hours ago, that will still not be displayed in the reports. So check the reports next day, or if that doesn't work, check after one more day. And if after that you don't see the data, then the problem is probably something else. The next reason is related to a thing called thresholding. So if you're missing some data, or maybe, for example, you recently sent an event to GE4, maybe several days ago, but you don't see that in, let's say, the events report. In that case, you should take a look at the top of the report where you're looking at. And if you see this orange exclamation mark, click it and check if thresholding is applied. If you see this warning, then that's probably the reason why you are missing some part of the data. If you want to learn more about thresholding, I will post a link to the description of this video. But in general, thresholding is caused by Google Signals. So if you have enabled that, then you will see this warning. It means that rows in your reports that have very low numbers, for example, 50 users, or let's say 30 events or something like that, then those rows with small numbers will be hidden. They are stored in Google Analytics, but the interface just does not show them. So to avoid that in the future, think if you really need to enable Google Signals in a new property that you will create in the future. But if you have already enabled that, then disabling will not help a lot because you already have collected that historic data. In that case, a workaround could be to go to the admin of your property, then reporting identity, show all, and then you might want to switch to the device based. In that case, all rows with small numbers will also be displayed in the report. And you can switch between these three options whenever you want and as many times as you want because they apply to historic data as well. These settings just affect how the data is later calculated and displayed in your reports. But there are more things to learn about thresholding, so I definitely recommend that you check the description of this video and learn in that blog post. The next possible reason is that maybe you have accidentally selected the wrong date range. Let's say that you started sending events on March 9th, but in this case, you will not see that event if your date range right here does not include March 9th. So keep an eye on the date picker here, and if you're working with explorations, the date picker will be available on the left column right here. Also, it is possible that maybe you're not seeing your own events. Maybe you sent a test event, but after two days or so, you still cannot see that in your reports. Thresholding, let's say, that is not applied to your property or to that specific report. So what could be the reason? Well, maybe you have excluded your own traffic as an internal traffic. And you can check that by going to admin, then data settings, data filters, and then check if internal traffic is set to active. If yes, then there is a very high chance that this is the reason why you cannot see your events in the reports. So if you see the active here, then go to data streams, select your website data stream, then configure tag settings, then show all and define internal traffic. If you see some rules right here, and when you click those rules, if you see your own IP address there, it means that Google Analytics ignores events and other data coming from your IP address, and those events will not be displayed in reports. In that case, Google Analytics is working as expected. And if you still want to see your events, then you would need to remove your IP address from internal traffic rules, or you can temporarily use some VPN provider that will change your IP address, or you can try to browse your website from another address, maybe by using mobile network. Another reason might be that maybe Google Analytics is modifying some of the incoming events based on your configuration or someone else's configuration. And in that case, the event names might also be changed. So to verify that hypothesis, you should go to admin of GA4, then go to events and modify event. If you don't see any rules right here, then this reason does not apply to your situation. But let's say that I was looking for the link click event in my reports and I don't see it. And here, apparently I have a rule 
that we'll be looking for event names that are this one, and then it will change it to another event name. So this means that link click event will no longer be displayed with this particular name in my report. Instead, all of those events will be renamed to this part. So in this case, what you can do is maybe you can talk with your colleagues or clients, ask them if this is needed. If yes, then just keep in mind that you should be looking not for the link click, but for the menu link click or you know some other event name. There is also some weird delay when it comes to the admin section and events. I don't know the reason why I could not replicate this issue whenever I want. It just randomly sometimes happens. So for some reason, sometimes certain events, they are not displayed here and that might happen for days. And then eventually, again, randomly, it might one day appear here. But in general, I would say that you can ignore this list. Instead, if you want to check what kind of events have you tracked, you can go to reports, then engagement and events, because usually this list shows the more recent data. At least that's what I have noticed. Now, if you're wondering, well, how are you going to mark events as conversions if you don't see certain events in the admin panel, because usually that's where people mark events as conversions. Well, that is not a problem because you can go to conversions, click new conversion event, and you can enter that event that you want to mark as a conversion right here. The next reason might be just a human mistake. So let's say that you are looking at this particular property and you don't see data coming in. You don't see events. In that case, I would suggest that you double check if you're actually sending data to the right property. For example, here in Google Tag Manager, I have installed Google Analytics 4, and this is the measurement ID that I am using. So double check if this is the same measurement ID that is used by the property. You can do that by going to, once again, admin, then in the property column, you can select data streams, select your website data stream, and then check if this measurement ID matches this one. If yes, then probably you're not seeing data because of some other reason. All right, let's check another situation. Let's say that I want to take a look at what kind of parameters were sent together with the scroll event. In fact, I know what kind of parameters, but I just want to see how many times those particular parameters were sent. So here I am in the scroll event. And here I want to see those parameters, but not all of them will be available. I can see some of them here, but this shows data only from the last 30 minutes. What if I want to see the data from the last 24 hours? Well, here's the thing how event reports work at the moment. So if you're sending some custom parameters with an event and you want to see their data, you have to register them as custom dimensions. I will post a link below the video to a resource where I teach how to configure them. So if you're sending some parameters, remember you have to register them as custom dimensions if you want to see them in GA4 interface and reports. Also, custom dimensions will become available as these little cards, like mini reports, right here in the event page as well. So for example, someone is sending this parameter with the event, and later that person registered this as a custom dimension, and then it started appearing here. And also you will be able to use it in other parts, for example, when you're customizing the report or when you're building an exploration. If you want to learn more details about these particular reasons, or maybe you haven't found your particular reason, then take a look at the blog post about this very same topic. I will post a link to it below the video. I will try to keep this article updated, so if I find some new reasons, then I will add them here. And these were the main reasons why your events are not showing up in Google Analytics 4. If these tips did not help, then take a look below the video where you will find more information. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tech Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.